In this video, I'm going to pull back the curtains and reveal five super secret high paying gig sources that professional musicians use to book gigs and make real money. So let's get to it. Hey, and welcome to Music Space, where we help working musicians just like you learn how to quickly and easily make a living with your craft. So if you're new here to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. So as I mentioned, there are some trade secret areas and sources that professional musicians use to market themselves and pitch their services so that they land high quality, high paying gigs that you know really pay astronomical amounts. And the good thing about these areas and sources is that once you get hooked in and you get booked, it naturally brings you other gigs in those same areas that pay as much or even more. Now, I should emphasize that the areas and the sources that I'm about to reveal to you are professional. They are for professional musicians and they don't really deal a lot with non-professional musicians and bands. But the good part about that is, is that 90% of the things that make you a professional musician or band are things that I've talked about on this channel consistently. So you need things like promo material, like pictures and video. You probably need to have some sort of social media presence and a website. And these things don't need to be like super made up or super done in any sort of manner. They just need to be sort of put together in a professional manner. So as long as you have or you can get some professional semblance of these things, you're good for these sources. So let's jump right into them. And the first source I wanna to reveal to you is a website. All right, so check this out. This site is called 10times.com forward slash conferences. And you can see that in the URL here. Now, what this is, is a conference directory. So check this out. Let me go to this other page, this Google page that talks about this. It says it's the world's number one directory of largest conferences, global seminars, international summits, meetings, and forums. And it's used by over 8 million event goers worldwide. This is how you can find gigs to book and really high paying gigs because a lot of these companies and businesses, they budget for these conferences yearly and they have massive budgets. I've seen some of these conferences have upwards of a million dollars of money for their budget. So let me show you how to use this. Now, the first thing I would suggest you do is sign up for an account here because it opens up a few more features when you have an account. But even if you don't, it's not that necessary. You can still go through this process. So what you want to do is search for conferences in your area. So you can go down here in the search bar and type your city, your state or whatever, wherever you want to search for conferences and forms and stuff like that. You can type that in here, but let's just say Washington DC is our place that we're looking for gigs. So click that. And then what you'll see here is conferences and forms and stuff that are coming up very soon in this year. Now, what you want to do for this is since these types of conferences with these larger budgets, they plan these types of things six months to a year out. What you want to do now is start looking for conferences that are about three to six months to a year out from now, because it's very likely that whatever is on here that's coming up very soon within the next few months, they've already got it planned. They've already got their entertainment and whatever they're going to use for the conference. So your best bet is to look for, you know, things again, about six months to a year out. And the way you do that is you come over here to the calendar, you hit the drop down box and you can search here by date. So let's say we want to search for conferences in our state, in our city in January of 2023. We click this and then it will filter these dates for us. So from here, it's really simple. If you find one of these conferences that you're interested in, and I recommend just, you know, kind of going through all of them and reaching out to all of these people. But if you find one in particular that you're interested in, what you can do is just click on it and then go down here to the information and you'll see all of the information about this particular conference where it's going to be located the official links and everything like that the website that you can uh, just automatically go to for the conference and what you're really looking for here is this right here you're looking for the conference organizer these are the people that are organizing this particular conference 
and it's the people who have the budget to pay you know whoever they're going to pay the venues the the bands the entertainment whomever and what you want to do is reach out to these people and pitch your band to them and there's a couple of ways you can do that you can hit this send stall book request here or you can go to their website and look up their contacts and do it that way i personally like going to the website because it gives you a little bit more information about the company and you can kind of pitch them on that stuff you can say stuff like hey i checked out your website our band really aligns with your message or whatever and and we were interested in playing for your event. We wanted to know if we could, you know, pitch you our services or whatever. But this is a great, great resource for high paying gigs. So pretty cool, right? Now, an essential element about using these sources is knowing how to market and pitch your band. So right before I reveal the next source to you, I wanna tell you about something that's gonna help you greatly in that area. I'm doing a free marketing for musicians masterclass where I'm going to be showing you things like how to market and pitch your services. I'm gonna show you some up-to-date marketing strategies that are working right now. I'm gonna show you some social media marketing strategies that's gonna help you get your following up. I'm gonna show you a secret marketing strategy that just works. All of this and much more. And we're gonna do a Q&A at the end so you can get your questions answered. Now the training is gonna take place really, really soon and you can register for it at the link in the description of this video. And again, it's completely free, so just go down and register for it now. Okay, so on to the next source and it's also a website. So we all know that the wedding industry is a huge industry. As you can see here, it's worth almost 60 billion. That's billion with a B. And it's only getting larger and larger. As you can see here, it says it anticipates as many as 2.6 million weddings to take place in 2022, and that's up 2.2 million in 2019 prior to the pandemic. And the big events, the big weddings, will also be much bigger and likely more expensive amid record levels of consumer price inflation. So needless to say, this is an industry that you and your band need to be in if you want to be booking higher paid gigs. And I'm gonna show you a really cool source that professional bands use to do that. So this site is called The Knot, and it is the go-to site that people use when they are planning their weddings, when they're looking for bands, vendors, and people like that, right? So just to show you how this site works, check this out. I'm gonna click on vendors here. And then I'm gonna go down to wedding bands. Now, this is what people use to search for bands in their area. So they come in here and type in wedding bands and then they click their city. Now, once I search this, this is my city. All of these bands show up and just, you know, a cool thing here. My band is here on the front page. We are one of the best wedding bands in our city and we are an award winning band. So if you click here on our profile, you can get all of the information that comes up and you can go down here and check out our website here. So if you click on that and that's me and that really cool picture there. So you see how this works and this is a really cool site to advertise your band on. And we get massive amounts of business from this site alone. Now, the way you do that is simply go back here to the home page. So I'm going to click the back button here and then go to the home page. So you scroll all the way to the bottom of this page where you go past all of this information and you see this thing here that says, are you a vendor? So if you're a vendor, like you sell stuff or your band or a musician or whatever, you can sign up to advertise on this site. So all you have to do is just click the start here button and then you'll be taken to this page where you fill out your information and put your information in here or you could do so by calling this number here. And of course you can always scroll down this page and get more information about advertising on the site and all of that kind of stuff. But this is a huge resource for high paying gigs. Again, you saw the price that is being paid for weddings and the amount that goes into the wedding industry these days. And it's getting astronomically larger by the year. So get all of your information together and start advertising on this site. This is a huge resource. So nice, right? You definitely want to get hooked in on this site. Now, the next source I want to tell you about are booking agents. It's very important as a professional band that you have some representation, a person that represents you as a business, as an entity that speaks on your behalf. And that is a booking agent. What I always recommend bands doing, especially ones that are starting out or that are fairly new in the game, is simply get someone that they know that can represent them, that talks to people on their behalf. The specific job of this person is to speak on your behalf and to help find gigs for you. 
And of course they get a percentage of whatever it is that comes in and that's negotiable. You can negotiate that with them however you like. Now you can also get professional booking agents too and they're everywhere to be found as well. But the caveat about this is that professional booking agents usually don't work with bands that don't make a certain amount of money. So if you're one of those musicians or bands that are only making three, four, five hundred bucks per gig, you're probably not gonna get a professional booking agent because the standard fee for booking agents is around 15 to 20%. And if you're only making like five or 600 bucks, you know, 15 to 20% of that is nothing. So they likely won't even waste their time with you. Now that said, there are some professional agents out there that work with up and coming bands. So if you have something that you put together your band or your musicianship or whatever, and it looks promising and it's something you can pitch to a booking agent, then you're good to go. But if this isn't the case and you haven't gotten to that level yet, just find somebody that can speak on your behalf. Usually it's someone that's related to one of the band members or somebody like that, that's you know fairly good with business. Talk over with them whatever you're going to negotiate as far as payment and fee, and then put them to work. And here's the reason that this is important. This is something that professional bands have and do. They have someone that represents their band on their behalf. This one thing alone has the potential to separate you from amateur bands who don't conduct business like this and put you in that arena with professional bands who have booking agents. So this is something that you should get on right away. Find someone that can represent you and your band. Now, I wanted to keep this video as short as possible so that you understand these areas and that you can dive in on them immediately. So I'm gonna reveal the other two of the five sources in a part two of this video that's coming soon. And I'm gonna give you a bonus one just because you have to wait for that video. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss that. In the meantime, check out these videos here about marketing your band and your services.